So this question is a simplify question. I know that because it is short. All simplify questions are between one and three lines long. And every simplify question will contain either an equation or like what we have in this case, an expression. So I'm going to rewrite this expression here. I have the fifth root of 32 a to the third b to the fourth. So if I'm right about um, the fact that this is a simplification question, I should only need to simplify this. And by simplifying it, I should have my correct answer. Now I am going to take a look at the answer choices. In doing so, I see that there is not the structure here of a fifth root any longer, um, that all of my answers have uh, rational exponents. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert my entire original expression into, you know, away from root, away from a fifth root and into a rational expression. So let's, let's see if this is helpful for you. So this turns into a 32 to the one fifth power, a to the three fifths power, and a b to the four fifths power. Um, 32 to the one fifth is uh, two. How do I know that? Well, because 2 to the 5th is 32. So 32 to the 1 fifth is 2. It just goes back that way, right? Um, in fact, I can write it here. 5th root of 32 is equal to 2. So this is the relationship. So 32 to the 1 fifth is equal to 2. Now, this a to the 3 fifths is not going to change because... There's no simplification here. My numerator is smaller than my denominator. So that's going to remain 3 fifths. And the same thing for b. That's going to also remain 4 fifths, right? There's no simplification there. If my numerators were larger than my denominator, then there would be something I could do. But since that's not the case, here is my final answer. And therefore, the correct answer here is choice A.